hello everyone welcome to happy learners and in this video we're going to see how to click something in a browser using robocorp in the previous video we have seen how to use how to type something in a web browser in this video we're going to see how to click something in a web browser there are um, different keywords uh, for clicking a particular element or a link or an image um, in a web browser and we're going to discuss some of them in this video and you can see other uh, it is similar to these um, keywords that i'm telling you in this video and let's go ahead and see what are the different keywords that you can use first is a click element there is another keyword which is click button both are same and basing on the requirement you can use a particular keyword of your choice and now uh, one is a click element and another was is a click image and a click link and if you see and locator modifier is common in every keyword so we are definitely using a locator in order to locate that particular element and a modifier in some clicks a modifier is something let's say whenever you are uh, clicking on a particular element you want to press a control or alt or some other keys then you can use modifier in order to pass them whenever it is clicking on that particular element it will hold that particular key as well so that your end goal is achieved and next there is something called action chain and uh, when you whenever you're using click element or click any click keyword uh, it usually uses the web element dot function uh, dot click function uh, whenever you're using action chain uh, instead of using that web element click action function it will use the action chain uh, click and that is the only difference between these two and action chain is a boolean value you can make it as true or false if it is true uh, it will use that if it is false it will use the default function in order to click that particular element so that is the difference between that argument and other these are the three uh, arguments that you will see in a click and it is another one is a click link and these are the two keywords i guess which are which will be more useful one is click element when visible let's say when you want to click on that particular element if it is only visible then you will you can use this keyword click element if visible let's say you are going to click on something it might appear sometimes or might not appear sometimes then you can use click element if visible and these are the different keywords so let's go ahead and see how we can use them let me close this and this is from the previous video where we are using uh, open available browser we are opening a browser and then inputting uh, some text as a mobile so let's go ahead and see how we can click on the search button and then also see how to use uh, the keyword which is element click element if visible and click element when visible and these three are the same um, you can pass the locator as a class name or ID or a href reference um, and other things as well so I, I will show you the click element and then click image click link is similar to that and click element when visible and click element if visible so let's go ahead here uh, the first thing is let's use click element click element what is it is asking us for the locator so let's go ahead and open the amazon which we are actually doing it so first let me indicate it here which is navbar and let's take the id of this one so let's copy it to here locator paste it there and this is our first click which is click element right so let's say we searched for mobiles after that i want to click on this particular iphone here for that i will use click element when visible right i will use that particular keyword and show you how it will be and if i indicate it here and you can see it has alt src and then a class name so i will take the class name from here in order to click on that particular element and this time uh, i will use click element when visible right that is the keyword click element when visible and what is 
what is the class name we need to pass the class name so let's go ahead and copy the class name copy it go here paste it here and this is the image so that it will click on that particular image because it is visible click element when visible right so let's go ahead and run this and see whether it is actually doing the things that i told you which that particular keywords will do and this click element if the element is not visible it will throw an error um, that is any keyword will throw an error if the action is not performed um, but click element when visible it will wait for four seconds and if the element is not visible it will throw an error um, of that particular keyword and it will stop the execution and um, but when we use click element if visible then it won't throw us any error when trying to click on that particular element right that's what we will see now um it is telling that the execution is completed and we we are we have also seen it clicked on this particular element and this element as well so let's go ahead and remove this one from here and let's save this so it is not going to this particular page it is only type in mobile so this is not visible for this so let's see how it will react and it will throw us an error because the element is not visible there it started the website amazon.in and it will type mobile and it will stop it will stop there and it will look for the element which we are clicking right so it need to throw an error because and if you see here and it says that element with the class name with this class name is not visible after five seconds so it is throwing us an error let's say uh, if i use here click element when visible instead of when visible i am telling it if it is visible then only click it or don't click it and if i run this now i don't throw me any error because we are telling it if it is visible click it or else leave it and go to the next keyword so that is the use of this click element if visible and when visible and another thing uh, which i need to show you the click image i will show you the click image as well what we need to use now it started it and it is typed mobiles and this time there is no error if you see there it is successfully completed because it is if visible and let me get back here now this this is the class name for the image right and let me go back here it is searching for this and let's instead of this let me make it as image and the keyword the keyword and the other arguments remain same so if you know about one click element which you need to use in the robocop then everything is similar to that and you can easily use that keyword and now it will first search for the mobiles and then it will click on the search button and then it will click on the image so here we are using click image instead of click element so there is another keyword which is click button so if you want to click on a button then you can use it or you can use the click element as well because the button is also an element so it will click on the iphone now let click on the iphone so, so this these are the click keywords in browser.selenium library in robocorp and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching